Hello, and welcome to this brief demo of Oracle Machine Learning Notebooks with Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. Oracle Machine Learning Notebooks are based on Apache Zeppelin technology. This is Mark Hornick, Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Machine Learning. First, we'll log into Oracle Machine Learning Notebooks. On the home page, under How Do I, we have Get Started, Create Notebooks, How to Create Jobs, Manage Permissions, or even try it for a hands-on workshop. Next are quick actions, whether running SQL statements or scripts in a notebook, managing user-created notebooks, scheduling notebooks for execution as jobs, or illustrative examples of in-database machine learning capabilities. Let's take a look at notebooks. Here are the notebooks we created previously. We can create new notebooks or import previously exported notebooks. Or selecting an existing notebook, such as forecast sales, we can edit, duplicate, delete, and even version notebooks. Once we're satisfied with the progress of a given notebook, we can save it as a template for sharing or reuse. Let's look at the forecasting sales notebook. In this example, we'll be demonstrating how to forecast sales using the in-database exponential smoothing algorithm on time series data. With notebooks, we first need to ensure we have an interpreter binding specified for connecting to our autonomous data warehouse instance. We select MD to enable markdown capabilities, but also whether we want our SQL to execute with low, medium, or high priority. Here we select medium priority, which allows us to take advantage of database parallelism. So to start off our example, we'll drop the previous models that we created, namely ESM sales forecast one and two. And when we execute this, we delete the corresponding in database models. Next, we create the database view that we'll use for model building. Here, the create or replace view statement creates the ESM SH data, which creates a time ID and amount sold from the sales table in the SH schema. We can see the contents of our newly created view by invoking select star on our view. Next, we'll create the forecast model to predict the amount sold in our next four periods. This is a PL SQL script. In this case, we specify the settings for our model build in the vset list and invoke the create model two function where we specify the model name, ESM sales forecast one, that it's a time series mining function, and we provide the data through the query select star from ESM SH data the view we created earlier. We also provide the settings specified above in vsetlist, as well as the case ID and target column names. Executing this, the model is now built, and we have a new model as a first-class database object ready for scoring and deployment. Notice that in the settings, we specified constants in the DBMS data mining package. However, we can also specify these settings using equivalent string names for dynamic programmatic specification if desired. For example, we can specify the setting algal name and its corresponding algorithm as strings. The create model two invocation is identical, except for the model name, ESM sales forecast two. Executing this results in another first class model object in the database. When we build a model, we specified a few settings and accepted default values or algorithm determined values for the others. However, we may want to know what values the algorithm chose. Let's review the forecast model settings for ESM sales forecast one. 
the actual values used by the algorithm are provided in the user mining model settings table for our model. We're viewing those settings here. Next, we may want to understand how well the model performed. For this, we can review the global diagnostics and model quality using our model's specific DM dollar VG view. Oracle Machine Learning provides a wide range of metrics to understand model quality. Next, we view the forecast amount sold. To do this, we invoke the query shown here using our model specific DM dollar VP view. This view provides the actual sold, the forecast sold, especially for our new periods, and the confidence, both lower and upper bounds. We can also chart the forecast values with confidence intervals using the built-in data visualization of Zeppelin. This leverages the same query as before, but here we select the line chart and specify in the settings the key or date ID and values, the lower and upper bounds, the forecast sold, and the actual sold. Then we can mouse over the chart points to see specific values as well as the forecast values and their confidence bounds. Let's turn our attention to scheduling. We may want to schedule some notebooks for automatic execution, possibly at regular intervals. We can schedule notebooks as jobs for execution. For example, we can create a new job, provided a name such as demo, Select the notebook we want to execute, such as an anomaly detection notebook, when we would like it to start, and the repeat frequency. This can also be customized using the DBMS scheduler capabilities. There are also advanced settings for controlling, for example, how long a job should be allowed to execute before terminating. Oracle Machine Learning Notebooks also supports the creation of templates, whether personal, shared with other users, or examples that come with Autonomous Database to illustrate using SQL for various machine learning tasks. Please see our Oracle Machine Learning website at oracle.com slash go to slash machine learning for more information and resources. This concludes our brief demonstration of Oracle Machine Learning Notebooks.